Screw the little people. No, screw everybody. Screw the lactose screw intolerant everybody. people. Not the little people. Screw everybody. Those are the little people. They are screwing everybody. They've been screwing people since they started this thing in Seattle like 20 years ago. Welcome back to Under Oath. You and I <laughs> will argue about anything. We'll yeah, argue well, about that's, the time like, of that's day. lunch. We, we, we argue about anything and everything. We argue where we're going to lunch, what we're going to have at lunch. We argue about politics on the way to lunch. You know, it started in 1998. Is that right? 97. Yeah. There are people listening who weren't born in 97. Craig Impossible. and I have been telling us each other have been wrong <laughs> since 97. You know what it says, serving since 97? Bitching and moaning have, have since you been 97. Keep, have you been keeping track of who's who's won throughout, throughout the years? Oh, I've obviously won. Oh, my goodness. You know, I've let you, I've let you feel good. No, you, you've won like six. 6,000? No, six. Six million? No. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll of give all you. the arguments we've had, you've 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 prevailed. Six the question times. is how many zeros on the back? Oh, no, there's no zeros. Okay, no, you're delusional. Okay, Starbucks, your favorite. Have you ever ordered coffee from Starbucks? I have never voluntarily been in a Starbucks in my life. I go there sometimes to stand around like a goofball while you order whatever coffee you order. Yeah, Quad Espresso over. Us. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's also four times the level of coffee that you're used to. It's it's a that I'm coffee. used to. No, I'm not used to any coffee. Oh, that's coffee. You'd be like, oh, for like the audience. Scanners. Listen, if you're drinking coffee, stop. What it. that means? Stop it. Here's my philosophy hey, on what yeah, that means. Be afraid, people. Here it comes. You've given up on your youth. Once you start drinking coffee, you've just given up. The youth drinks more your, coffee than we your do. Your grandpa, your grandma, your aunt Sally. It's over. Teenagers. You're done going to concerts. You're done having fun. You've just settled into your life, and you're going to get old and wrinkly, and you've just resigned yourself to it, and that's when you start drinking coffee. All right. I'm already old and now, wrinkly in places. Now, some people do that. Huh? I'm already old and wrinkly in places that I shouldn't see. <laughs> well, I know, but that started happening when How you started you drinking know? coffee. Okay. Well, I'm looking right at you. Okay. In places that you shouldn't know about? Oh, okay. Like my face? I, that, right. That's okay. They're a good doc. You know, I saw Donnie Osmond. I'll tell you what, this dude's not a wrinkle on his face. Not a wrinkle on his face. He's 78, he right? He irons. I think before they go out, they just go, zh, zh, zh. they steam it. I mean, he looked good. Did you did you feel tempted when you were at that concert? Did you feel tempted to scream out, who are you kidding? No, I screamed out, I love you, Donna. <laughs> no, I, I, I did have an issue. But Starbucks, here's the problem. Any big company, the minute you get big, you know what's happening. Yeah, they want to see you. Lawsuits. They want to see. Every every lawyer in the world goes, oh, they're big. They never, you know, I, I here's the problem. As a lawyer, I look at the problem first. I don't look at the company. I look at when somebody comes to me and goes, listen, I suffered. I'm like, all right, tell me what happened. Oh. The first thing I don't ask is who did it? Liar. How big are they? No, Liar. no, no. I show sympathy first. And the problem with this okay. is when you sue the a company, there's no second, sympathy on it. The nanosecond between the showing of the sympathy and finding out which company Wait. we're suing. No. No, I don't if, feel that way. If even that long. No, I don't feel that way. Here's the problem with suing a company. The sympathy part of it is normally zero. The yeah, big company okay. didn't do something big. They're yeah. just big. big. The company's big. The yeah. problem wasn't big. But they think because the company's big, the money is big. Well, that's true. I okay. mean, they have Here's the argument being huge made. insurance policies. Here's the newest lawsuit against Starbucks. I can't even say it. I'm embarrassed to say it. Okay, Starbucks, you can have cream in your coffee. You can have milk in your coffee. You can have oat milk. You can have almond milk. I'm sure there's goat milk available. <laughs> but they, they upcharge for the different versions of milk. Okay. Okay, cream, regular milk. Eh, probably same price. All right. Listen. Oat milk, extra dollar. I got, I got, I got. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm going to tell you the lawsuit. $5 million class action lawsuit against Starbucks for making customers who do not want the typical dairy, who want oat milk or almond milk, there's an upcharge of like a dollar. It's not a dollar. It's like 30 cents. No, it's like a dollar. And here's the deal. The lactose intolerant people say they're being discriminated against. Because they want the milk substitutes for the same price as the regular milk. All right. So I got to let the audience know a little something. All right. Okay. Let them know. All right. My producer said 
that I had to take the position of the people doing the suing, even though I vehemently You're oppose their position. I don't think they should be suing Starbucks. But if you have to make the argument, if you have to make the argument, then it should go something like this. You're asking for people to come to your store. You're asking, begging people. You spend billions of dollars in, in advertising. Please come to our store. Does Starbucks you have to expect that people who are going to come to your store aren't all exactly cookie cutter people. There are going to be folks who are different and who have different dietary restrictions and needs. And Starbucks recognizes that by having the oat milk. The audacity of them to charge extra for, for, for the oat milk is what the problem is. That's where the problem is. You can't do that. You already have the milk. It doesn't cost any more to have the oat milk. You don't know milk. how much oat milk costs. And let's say it does. Isn't it supply and demand? And here's the concept of this. Oat milk isn't just for the lactose intolerant people. Oat milk is for people who don't want the calories of regular milk. Um, well, uh, <laughs> it's hard to take the position. <laughs> See, here's the deal. I, I don't, I I don't want to take this position. Yo, you're taking it. <laughs> We'd make a great team against Starbucks, but for purposes of this discussion, it, it makes there, – there's there's no sense in charging extra for product that you already have in your store. You're not having to do anything in particular to go get it. You as Starbucks know that you need to have all of this stuff there, all right? So for you to charge us, and some of us, not all of us, but some of us can't drink the milk. It's not that we want to do it because it's healthier. It's not that we want to do it because we're trying to be fashionable. We'll get sick. But you know what? We've still come to your store and we're still willing to give you our money. Don't screw us by, by charging us more because we can't drink milk. How dare you? You don't. There order you go. I'm actually going to talk myself into taking you know this what? case. You don't have to order coffee. You're begging us to. I You're the need. Starbucks. I'm not begging you. You're Starbucks. I'm You're not begging, begging us. You. I'm on every You're block. begging us to come in. Tell me the last advertise, Starbucks advertisement you've seen on TV or on the radio. I don't think I watch anything. I say I'm not Starbucks. How about radio? Target audience. You listen to me so on the radio would, all the time. I wouldn't watch the things that, that Starbucks would, would, would advertise on. I well, where, never, where do they advertise? They don't. Like TikTok? They don't. They don't have to. Because their, their product is that They're popular? Starbucks. Yeah. Because we need our coffee. Oh, yeah. I don't okay. need advertisement right. for it. Yeah. They've never, I've never seen a Starbucks advertisement. Ever. Think about it. When was the last? Out of all the big companies in the world, they don't have to advertise. They're genius. I think I've seen a commercial before. What? They, they were bragging about being. What's a uh, pasty dude sitting there going, yeah, I, 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 I deliver I think they were bragging barista. about like sending money to Africa or something to, for a clean water project. Maybe that was an advertisement. Maybe it was a public service announcement from Starbucks. Yeah, I've never seen it. Be, be the same thing. I've never opened a magazine and seen a Starbucks ad. Yeah. You know why? Because they don't have to. You don't want our coffee. We're not advertising to you. Because you know what? Our line's going to be big whether you come or not. And you I don't. You still want the business as, of as really many people care. as you can. I don't really care. Yeah, you do. I don't care. The lactose intolerant people, you know what? All right. Well, if you don't care, then put a sign that says, hey, no lactose intolerant people, you're not welcome here. And what do you think lactose put, intolerant put, people did before Starbucks came up with the concept of putting almond milk or oat milk in your stuff? They probably made their coffee at home. But they're coming here to give you a profit. That is this coffee you wouldn't have been able to sell, but they're coming to your store because they trust you. Okay. You know they what? They want I your coffee. If I have a problem, I bring it with me. Hey, yeah, you, yeah, you I got want, my open. You hold on. Did you say that right? If you have a problem, you bring it with I you. I bring it with me. You bring the I bring problem the solution with, you. with me. Oh, okay. Okay. For example, I go to coffee stores all the time that don't have a stevia. They that's got, you. Oh, we don't have a stevia. That's you. And I have because, but it's right there. That's my issue. It's not that they don't have it. They're charging extra. Let's for Let's say it. they charge me extra for it. I didn't like it. Here's my. I got. I got my open with me, or I got my substitute with me. That happens. I'm going to give you a change of the example. I go into a seafood restaurant and I say, I'm does, allergic does, to shrimp. To Starbucks. I want your artificial shrimp. And they charge me more for artificial shrimp. You don't have to drink. I don't have to eat shrimp. I want the artificial they're, shrimp. They're just making more of a profit. It's they're a, already making a profit. I don't want to carry this They're going to squeeze the, the, the yes. lactose intolerant yes. people for extra money. They already squeeze me $6 for the money. coffee. They're already making money. How much money. do you think coffee exactly. costs? Exactly. That's a scam. Exactly. You're paying $6 for this yes. damn coffee. And I'll pay 7 for the oat milk. <laughs> 
That's the way yeah, this well, works. Yeah, well, lactose intolerant people shouldn't have to pay more to enjoy the same things that everybody else enjoys at Starbucks. Starbucks shouldn't charge more, and they're right you to get sued. You can have our milk. They're right to get sued. They're you can greedy. have our milk. They're greedy. You think they're greedy? They're greedy. You know what Starbucks they're does They're already for their making employee? a ton of money. They provide oh, tuition, hey, we're gonna, healthcare. We're going we're gonna to select these very particular, dare I say, vulnerable people, and we're going to charge them extra. We're going to make their lives even less fun than it already is. They already have a problem because they're lactose intolerant. Starbucks okay. is Now you can't come to Starbucks. We're going to charge you extra. Starbucks is probably the most honorable, supportive to servers and and convenience employees on the planet. What to coin one of your phrases? What does that have to do with the price of tea okay. in China? Because so what? Because they already spend a ridiculous amount of money on the baristas and everything else in there. So they're not just this huge profitable company. They're taking care of their employees. They're not like going. These are not. Oh, and Starbucks is not a profitable company. Is it that, is, is profitable. That your, but they're is not. Defense? They're not. Beating people up the way you think they are for profit alone. For six dollars for a coffee, they well, are beating people. How much do you think rent is? I have to now. I have to store oat milk for you. I don't know how much is. You rent? worked in a restaurant. What is rent? What is a lot? A lot <laughs> depends where. <laughs> New York City rent a lot more thing than BF Arkansas. Difference. Do they charge more mortar? in New York for the same cup of coffee that they charge in say North Dakota? They probably jack you an extra buck in New York. I don't know. I know Starbucks is it changes. The yeah, price I don't think Starbucks, Starbucks is losing any money. But I don't think the they're point. losing money. And and the people who are bringing the lawsuit, they're not saying, "Hey, you're not allowed to make a profit." Certainly, you can make can't a profit. Make it off me. You can see you're certainly entitled to make a profit, but not off me. But don't but don't nickel and dime us on 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 who things that don't matter. Who are you telling me I can't nickel and dime you? But you're nickel and diming certain people no, because nickel and of diming their medical, everybody who wants almond milk. You're nickel and diming all of them. Certain people because of their medical characteristics. No, I didn't do wrong. it for medical. It yeah. just so happens that you might fall That's into the, the category. It's the effect. The effect on everybody? You no, think the you... effect is particularly felt by people with medical conditions. What if I was able to prove that only 20% of the people who order almond milk are lactose intolerant? Who cares? It does. Because I'm not doing it for this segment. You just happen to be part of a much bigger segment. What are you talking about? Okay. My issue. I'm talking about lactose intolerant people. No. You're trying to add people everybody who wants almond milk. Who want almond milk? Yes. That's not what I'm talking about. I am. I'm talking about lactose. intolerant I didn't discriminate people. against you. I discriminate against everybody. That's still wrong. No. Yes, it is. No, discrimination of it is. requires a small group. There is a small group. The lactose intolerant. No, you just have to be part of a bigger group that I'm screwing. The fact that you can add people into the group you're yes. screwing does not make it morally I right. I choose to oh morals now. Yeah, of course. Oh, see, no. Yes. No. Well, no. We cannot. Part of the law. We cannot no. hold our no. companies to have moral, no moral standards. issues because your morality changes as the wind blows. We're canceling you. We won't cancel you tomorrow, but we'll cancel Starbucks you. Starbucks is the one doing the canceling. What no, are you talking about? No, Star. Well, yeah, a little bit. Not the point, though. The point is, is that we they are part of a group of people. Go. Oh well, this this small segment of the group that pays more for almond milk. We shouldn't be paying. The rest of the group is fine. We don't mind the rest of the group paying. But we shouldn't have to pay more for our almond milk. That's what we're saying. And we shouldn't have to pay more because we need the almond milk. If you have to have the almond milk because you have to have can't it. I don't have to have drink it. the regular I don't have milk, to have it. you shouldn't have to pay more. Are you forced, if I'm allergic to shrimp, should there be a shrimp substitute that tastes like shrimp? No. Well, we're not talking about, is there is there a giant shrimp sales company out there that yeah. sells shrimp on every corner yeah. in every grocery store. Long John no, Silvers, man. What's it called? Long John Silvers. They're, the number of Long John, Long Silvers, John Silvers is maybe 10%. Denny's. Maybe 10% of the Starbucks. Lenny's. Anybody who sells fried shrimp. This is basically an American staple. So is Denny's. They have shrimp at Denny's. Red Lobster is not an American staple. For the seafood lover in you. Not as much as Starbucks. Well, now Starbucks is bigger. But Starbucks has how many stores? All right, Dave, before we're done with this, I want Dave to look up at how many Red Lobsters or Long John Silvers there are. <laughs> Red Lobster, 649. Starbucks, 17,068. Yeah. Red Lobster's getting its butt whooped But by you, Starbucks. you don't think these 600 stores should have to provide shrimp alternatives? <laughs> they're not as big oh so bigness will describe it alone well yeah this is like so small stores can't be starbucks small stores can't be held liable like, for discrimination starbucks is like a monopoly for coffee it's like utilities hold on, hold on. it's like electricity 
So we're going to treat a that's, burger. That, that's how we should treat Starbucks. Hold on. Treat Starbucks on. like it's a utility. Why like are we cable. trying to hurt American companies? Why is that hurting an American company? They're still making a profit. If I said they're not allowed to make any profit, that would be hurting the American company. Oh, I can't charge. You for just can't milk. make extra profit on a very slim category of lactose intolerant people. Oh, we can't upcharge? What's next? Everything's next. You, what's next? Start, Everything's next. Well, maybe maybe Starbucks will start charging Asian people more. Oh, see, now you're being discriminated against race. Well, that's what happens to these lactose you, intolerant people. Okay, They're being discriminated okay, against. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it for you. Let's say Asians are lactose intolerant. No, could only use a stevia. For some reason, that's the only sugar they're allowed is a stevia. And your argument would be too bad. I can charge them no, more. No, no, no. I charge everybody extra for a stevia, not just Asian people. I charge the 99% of everyone else who gets a stevia an extra dollar. It just so happens that the 1% of the Asians who need a stevia don't want to pay that extra they dollar. They need the card too. They need, the, they need that lactose intolerant card or the stevia. The Asian stevia card. card? Yeah. See, yeah. that's nonsense. They, need the same card. they are not a high enough portion of the people I up, I didn't upcharge to to hurt these people. And so what fact, you're percent, saying, Jeff? There are some people who have disabilities that we just don't give a crap about. I didn't say that. That's that's but what there's you're such saying. A small portion. You didn't use those words, but that's what you're saying. I'm not upcharging you. I'm upcharging the whole group. Right. And it's going to affect these particular. You just so happen to be in the group. Yeah, you just so happen to be in. It, so it affects everybody. You. So screw you. Everybody. Yes, if you're in the group, yeah, that so everyone's ah, screwed. Screw you. That's all right for American companies to do that to, to Americans. Yes, a certain segment. Yes, go ahead. Yes, screw those people. We get screwed those on the price of that coffee. People. People. Yes. Oh yeah, that's going to be Starbucks' new ad campaign, according to Jeff. Screw the little people. No, screw everybody. Screw the lactose screw intolerant everybody. people. Not the little people. Screw everybody. Those are the little people. They are screwing everybody. They've been screwing people since they started this thing in Seattle like 20 years ago. And I mean, you're helping them to screw even more. Yes. If people are willing to pay, it's called supply and demand. You want to be in China? Go to China. Well, they got Starbucks think, there too. Well, you know what? I think the lawsuit is demanding that they lower the price on almond milk. The law is demanding? The lawsuit is demanding. Or the lawyers are demanding. The lawyers who want a huge cut of this. Now with class well, they're only suing for $5 million, though. That's, oh, that, no, no, That doesn't no. seem like a lot that's for, where it for starts. a class action. No, that's where it starts. We have seven people. That's a class action. All I have to show you, more, seven or more people are affected. So I have seven people who are going to go, I'm lactose intolerant. I don't like paying that extra 80 cents for almond milk. Why should there be a substitute? Why you, should there be a difference? But you realize almond milk You're going to put something in there. The coffee, it comes with something. Whatever the something is, I ask for, you don't charge extra for it. I want shrimp. You build it into the price of the coffee. Yes, $7. So charge everybody $10 for the coffee. Oh, now everyone's got to pay for your problem. Don't select people who have a dietary problem and say, all right, you're paying extra. We're going to single you out. You got to pay extra. Why would you do that? Okay, almond milk That's is for uppity people. Discriminatory. Uppity people who are worried about fat. And we're not talking about uppity people I am. who are worried about fat. We're 95% about of the people who order almond milk. milk are ordering it because they don't want to pay. No, it's 95%? not. 95%? It's not. Yes. Oh, yeah? Yes. I just come up with yes. that number. I came up Tell with it because- Tell me right now how you came up with that You can, can't even keep a straight I face. Can, I can honestly say in my heart, you, Dave- he's, he's like- a, Dave, hold on. Dave, Dave, he's like a Democrat, man. No, he just Dave, makes up he just make up stats as he goes. Yes. He just throws them out. Yes. Some are rational. Would you work for CNN? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask Dave to pull a fact for us. How many lactose intolerant people are there in the United States? 36%. Oh, screw that. That's well, BS. A huge, what are you talking about? How many people are in what your family? What do you mean? It's BS. How many people are in your family? You just asked him. I don't trust Dave now. You don't trust our own producer. I don't trust him. 33. Okay, you think a so, third of right, our country listen, is lactose for, intolerant? For, for the audience out here, this is what liberals do, okay? I'm not they, liberal. I'm you the are. Liberal. You're arguing like a liberal right now. I'm arguing. You demand a fact, and then someone gives you the fact, and then you oh, question on. the source of the fact. Are you telling me one third of the people in this country can't consume milk? I believe Dave, when he researched the the topic for Dave, us, and Dave, come where, back did, with where did you get that off of the Starbucks website? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Here, here's the feeling behind it. You know, sometimes these class action lawsuits. It reminds me of the blockbuster lawsuit. Companies can be shut down so easy by these things, and I know it's hip for attorneys to do stuff like this because 
I've gone to these seminars where they talk about class action lawsuits and how you want a piece of this one, and this is a great opportunity to make money, and all you all have to do All beef to... patties. When it turns out, they weren't all beef. Do you know that, that was a big one. Remember, Bill, who cares? We're idiots. If you're an idiot and can't figure out what a burger is, you know. The it's... advertising said all beef patty. I, I don't think that's too much of a stretch. No. That's certainly more defensible than suing Starbucks. Well, I'm supposed to be on Starbucks side for this segment, but I'm not really. I mean, look at some of the class actions we're dealing with. And I, I think there's I think these things should have to go to committee. But we don't. Committee? Committee. I think there should be class you... action committees where people go, okay, is this realistic? Is this puffering? Is this serious? Offer an opportunity for the company to come up with a solution. You know, class actions are just so expensive to a company to defend. And they last for years. And you're talking, even if you win them, you lose. To defend a class action is just ungodly. And we have to be careful with this stuff. And I, I think suing a company out of existence is different. Now, people will compare this to car accident cases. It's no. In a car accident, people are injured. I How was I injured? I didn't want to pay that extra 80 cents for a coffee. You know how this thing gets fixed? Your competitor goes, you know what? We're not going to upcharge for almond milk. We care about you. If I'm lactose intolerant and I feel a company isn't caring for me, I go to, I find an alternative and I give them my money. I don't have to give my money to a company that I don't think respects me. So what do I do? Well, I have to pay 80 cents or I go somewhere else. I'll take my money somewhere else. And if I think a company discriminates against Jews or something like that, and I know this is, let's say, uh, Nazi burgers, and, <laughs> you know, I don't want to buy a burger at Nazi burgers. You know what? I'm going to go somewhere else. Uh, it's just a difficult decision. And I, I think in this case, it seems petty. It does seem petty, doesn't it? Yeah. In the end, I don't know if we agree or not agree, but we both agree it seems like a petty lawsuit.